Two dozen police officers and public health officials swarmed this Tumuning facility, executing a search warrant. It was here at Wise Owl Animal Hospital that a raid involving 24 GPD and public health officials occurred yesterday evening. During that raid, a dog passed away as a result of some of the items that were confiscated, not allowing vet staff to be able to administer the life-saving medication. According to police spokesperson Officer Paul Tapau, GPD was providing assistance to public health related to an administrative inspection. A search warrants was also issued for any controlled substance that's in violation of the um, Guam Uniform Control, uh, Control Substance Act. Um, any information or any inquiries we're in regards to the Department of Public Health and Social Service would have to be made to the PHSS and the Attorney General's office. According to Public Health Director James Gillen, Wednesday's search was conducted as a result of an inspection his agency conducted of the Wise Owl Animal Clinic two weeks ago. When they conducted that, that inspection, the premises, they found uh, several items uh, which were controlled substances. Based upon the inspection report that we uh, presented to the Attorney General, the Attorney General said we had enough there to issue what we call an administrative uh, search warrant or administrative warrant to confiscate anything on the premises that we would consider uh, related to that matter. So that meant a lot of his, his records and, and the drugs themselves. The reason these drugs were of concern for public health is because, according to Gillen, Joseph does not have a controlled substance registration, which means he cannot order, possess, or prescribe controlled drugs. Joseph contends, however, that he does have a CSR. He maintains it was recently renewed on April 25th and stamped received, accepted, and being processed by public health. But aside from that, Joseph believes GPD and public health went too far, alleging that during the search of his premises, his employees' personal vehicles were also searched, as well as his son's private residence, which is located on the second floor of the clinic's facility. Joseph says items that were not related to the warrant were also confiscated and argues all the drugs that were taken were legal and were uncontrolled substances. What happened is we told them that they were taking drugs that were not controlled drugs and the uh, search warrant was for controlled drugs. Uh, we pleaded with them not to take them because they're for emergency uses and later in the evening a dog had cardiac arrest, respiratory failure. We needed the drugs and we, were, we did not have them and the dog died. Joseph also confirms that the owner of the dog is also his employee, Gina Petracci. KYM has confirmed she was arrested during the raid. To make matters worse, the owner was distraught and the police wouldn't leave her alone. We asked them to go away, we asked them to go away. They then started shoving us away and demanding we leave. Uh, and then they started literally going like this and poking their finger toward her eye and she slapped it away, at which point, they arrested her. Of the entire ordeal, Joseph says they're not after anything, except anything they can find. They don't know what they are looking for. This is a witch hunt. Joseph, in the meantime, is scheduled to appear in court tomorrow in a case involving the Guam Board of Allied Health Examiners. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Jolene Tovez.